Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to continue with our Caden Live 2020 basic series. Okay, so today we are going to talk about adding titles. All right, so we'll launch our Caden Live here. Titles are basically just the text that you would add in your video. So we've opened up a new instance of Caden Live here. I am just going to change the uh, project settings into 30 frames per second. Okay, continue, that's fine. I'll add in a video here, video clip that we can use. It's gonna ask me to switch it. And like I said before, um, you don't have to, we can keep it at 30 frames per second. So I'm just gonna cancel that. We'll just preview the video here. So it's basically just water, just waves crashing into uh, a sand bank here on the beach. So we won't do too much with this video. We'll just use it as a backdrop for the text that we're going to be adding. Okay, so we'll add this to our timeline. And as I mentioned before, it splits the audio from the video. There's actually no audio here, so we can safely ungroup this and then just delete the audio component. Okay, so there we have it. That's our video. So the way we add text in Caden Live is pretty simple. So we go to our project bin. We add a clip or folder and we go and add a title clip. This is going to open our um, clip editor, uh, title editor, I mean, in Caden Live. And let's get at, let's add our first title. So we'll add a text here. We'll just say this is my favorite beach. Okay. Just something simple for now. We'll click OK. All right. And then here's our clip. We can add this onto our timeline. Now, like I mentioned before, whatever you place on top gets overlaid on top, okay? And since this has a transparent background, it's gonna be transparent and we just have that text on there, my favorite beach. Now you can extend out the text for as long as you want it to be overlaid, or you can decrease the amount of time that you want it to be displayed, okay? And then it'll disappear. All right, so pretty simple so far. If we want to edit this, let's say, I'll just extend this out. Let's say I want to move this text a little bit further down to the bottom here, to the lower third portion, okay? So I'll click back to my clip, my title clip here. I'll right click, edit clip, okay? And I can move it to where I need it to be, okay? So I've moved that there, click OK. And that should change it. Let's have a look. Did it change it? Yes. There we go. Okay. Now we can add a little bit more than just text. Okay. A little bit more than just white text. So let's do some more edits here. So we'll go ahead, edit clip. Click on our text. We can edit the, uh, the text size. We can edit the font. What have we got? Well, let's extend this out. All right. Let's just change it to just, yeah, some random, you know, just some random text here. Uh, we'll change this to maybe 70, right? Okay, that's cool. I'll keep it as white. And let's say I wanted to add a little mask, like a text overlay mask. I, I like to do this because it just makes the text pop out a little bit more. So I'll show you that in this tutorial. So we'll add a rectangle here. So I just use the rectangle tool. Okay. Now we can edit the size of this rectangle. So the width. Okay. So this size of this canvas is actually the size of your project. Okay. So 1080p resolution. So 1080p is equivalent to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Okay. So now that we know that information, we can extend this rectangle out so that it covers the whole length, okay, of the screen. And there's no gaps. So that's really simple because we know that this was 1920 long. All right. Now, you might have a little trouble trying to center this, but this is where the editor is pretty cool because we've got some alignment tools, okay? So here we can align the item horizontally. We can align it to the top, 
Okay, we can align it to the bottom, right? So anywhere you need it to be aligned. Just align it to the middle, that's fine. I'll extend this width a little, um, I'm gonna change the size here to a little bit bigger. I want the height to maybe be 200, okay? We'll center it back. Now you'll notice that our text gets covered, okay? So the way that we do that is we're going to lower this object. Again, we've got the tools for that. So we can lower this object and that should put it lower and our text should be placed higher. Okay, I'm just going to move this down. Okay, we're going to align it again because it keeps getting out of line. Now we can change the color, right? Because this is just going to be a solid background. If we check it out. See? It's just going to be like that. I want to see through the background a little bit, okay? So we'll do edit again. All right. Click on our rectangle. We'll change our color, okay? I'm going to do a custom color. I'll do just a black. And I can change the opacity here or the transparency. So I want it to around 50%. We'll just select that. See, it changes here. We can see through the background a bit. Click OK. See what that looks like. There we go. So that's what it looks like now, a bar. OK, so that's pretty cool. I'm really liking that result. OK. Now from here, we can do other things to our title as well. We can add in a transition. OK, so let's say we want the title to fade in and fade out so i've just you know reduced it i'll add a transition in here reduce that now it's just a dissolve transition like we talked about in the previous video okay so it's just going to dissolve in there we go and then it will dissolve out okay so pretty elegant but you can do other things as well if you want so let's try some other transitions here. So we want it to maybe um, maybe a curtain. We'll try a curtain. Okay. Yeah. So you can add transitions if you want to get fancy. We can do a linear. Let's see what the linear does. There we go. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. And let's just, you know, be a little bit fancy and do another linear. Linear X, but we'll invert it. Okay. So that it goes the other way. Oh, what happened? Buy a linear now. Yeah, we just did a linear X. There we go. So that should roll it back out. So there we go. Maybe we won't do the revert. Let's try that, see what happens. There we go. Yeah, so play around with it. Um, we can do, you can save or you can rename a clip, okay? So with the title, if you want to do, you know, text one, text two, or whatever it is, or just the title, my favorite beach, helps you keep track if you're adding a lot of titles in your video. Um, you've got other tools here as well. You can align the text to be in the middle, uh, to be on the right. Again, it's totally up to you. You can add a shadow if you want, you know, so there's different other, there's a lot of things that you can do just within the text editor itself. There's other things that you can do as well. You can add a photo. Um, you can save this as a template. Okay. Uh, I guess we can download some title templates. Let's see if this works. Yeah, we've got some title templates on here. I haven't tried these, but I guess you can give it a shot, see if you like any of them. And that is pretty much it for basic titles. So thanks again for watching guys. I hope you found this uh, quick tutorial pretty helpful. 
and I will see you in the next installment of our series. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.